In this question, we have to find the maximum power transfer to the resistor R. Now, if you want to find the maximum power transfer to the resistor R, we are thinking to apply the maximum power transfer theorem. And for the application of the maximum power transfer theorem, we need to find the Thevenin equivalent across these terminals. So, if you see, we can calculate the Thevenin equivalent across these terminals. So, first I will have to calculate the Thevenin voltage. For the calculation of the Thevenin voltage, I need to make it open circuited. Therefore, redrawing the circuit, it will be this is 1 ohm, 2 ohm plus minus 20 volts, 5 ohm, 5 ampere and here we had R. So, we are making it open circuited between these terminals. We are trying to find VTH that is the Thevenin voltage. This is 10 ohm and this is a current source of value 2 ampere and here it is short circuit. So, this is the circuit that we have we need to find VTH. So, now you see 5 ampere is flowing in this direction as it is open circuit it means the whole 5 was flowing from here. Therefore, the 5 ampere must be flowing from here. Now, applying KCL at this point, 5 was going in this direction, 2 is flowing in this direction, it means the rest of the 3 ampere is flowing in this direction. Now, assuming that some current I is flowing in this branch, therefore, here it must be 2 minus I and this I and 3 add up and it will flow in this direction as 3 plus I. Now, this VTH will be the voltage drop across this, this, this and this. As you can see current in this resistance is known, in this resistance is known, but the current here I is unknown. So, my task is to find the value of I first. So, let us do one thing, apply the KVL in this loop. So, you can see if applying KVL in this loop, it will be negative because the current is flowing in this direction. So, the drop will be plus minus, for this the drop will be plus minus. Hence, if I am applying KVL in this loop, so it will be minus of 10 into 2 minus i plus 20, then plus 2 into 3 plus i, this will be equal to 0. Solving this equation, you can see it is minus 20 plus 20, these two will get cancelled, then we are left with 2i 6. So, expanding the equation you can see i will be coming equal to minus 1 by 2 amperes. So, solving this you can get the current i is minus 1 by 2 ampere. Therefore, Vth will be applying the KVL in this loop. Vth will be equal to I am applying in this loop. So, Vth this will be equal to 5 into 3 15 because the drop will be plus minus, here also the current is downward, so drop is plus minus. Therefore, you can see Vth will be 15 plus 20 plus 2 multiplied by 3 plus i, i is 0 0.5, so 3 minus 0 0.5 will be 2.5 plus 5 into 1, it will be 5 volts. Hence, solving this you can see Vth, this is coming equal to 45 volts. It means we have calculated the Thevenin voltage, it is coming as 45 volt. Next, we have to calculate RTH. For the calculation of the RTH, we will be deactivating all the independent sources that is all the current sources will be replaced by open circuit and all the voltage sources will be replaced by short circuit. Therefore, for RTH, the circuit that we are getting is this is 1 ohm, this is 2 ohm. 
10 ohm this 20 volt will be replaced by a short circuit then 2 ampere will be replaced by an open circuit we have 5 ohm again this will be replaced by an open circuit and here we had R and from these terminals we are calculating RTH. Therefore, you can see as this is open circuit, so this is not the part of the circuit. So, you can see RTH will be 5 in series with parallel combination of 10 and 2 and then in series with 1. Therefore, we can write RTH this will be equal to from here 1 plus 10 in parallel with 2 plus 5. Hence, this can be written as 1 plus 10 into 2 divided by 10 plus 2 plus 5 which is coming equal to 1 plus 20 divided by 12 plus 5 and if you see it is coming as 7.67 ohms. Therefore, developing the equivalent circuit So, you can see the Thevenin equivalent between the terminals of R, R is coming as VTH which we have calculated as 45 volts. This is RTH, RTH we have calculated as 7.67 ohms and now here we had the resistance R. Now, they have asked us for the maximum power transfer. You know that for the maximum power transfer, this load resistance must be equal to the Thevenin R source resistance. Therefore, you know that P maximum in that case is equal to Vth square upon 4 times Rth. Or you can directly see the current will be Vth upon Rth plus Rth that is 2 times Rth. If you square that, it will be Vth square upon 4 Rth square and the power will be multiplied by RTH. So, this is the formula that we will be getting. Substituting the values, it will be 45 square divided by 4 multiplied by RTH that is 7.67. On solving this, you are getting power is equal to 66 watt. Hence, the maximum power that, that will get transferred will be 66 watt.